Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to set up child routes inside a component. Extremely important because whenever you are working on any serious enterprise application, chances are that you would need to have child routes. And that's where we will also utilize the previous two learnings of router outlet and router length in this episode as well. So let's get started. Before we kickstart the coding and the learning, please do continue to like, share, comment on the videos. If you like my work, conti please continue to buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Following is the playlist index we have created so far of 43 episodes. If you have missed out on the previous episodes, make sure that you go through them in order to learn and master entire Angular with me. We are learning all the use cases of routing that I'm covering. So please follow the previous playlist in order to be up to date. A quick note for our friends joining us first time here. Angular 17 onwards, we do not have app routing.module.es file. Because I say this because a lot of times I get emails which says, in my project, I don't see the app routing module or I don't see that because from Angular 17 onwards, there's only one file which is app routes.ts, okay? And not app routing module. Make sure that you follow the previous episodes if you want to learn it. Today, we are learning about child routes. In Angular, child routes allows us to create nested routing structures. Uh, a good example is like say dashboard slash settings, dash dashboard slash overview, etc., etc. Child routes help organize routes hierarchically and make navigation in complex applications more manageable. So child routes will, we can define the children in the parent route. We'll use router outlet in the parent component so that we see the output right there. Finally, we can use the relative navigation for simplicity and uh, especially with links. That being said, let's jump right into code and learn hands-on. We are building a crew management system in Angular 17. Let's expand the source. Let's expand the app folder. Go to app routes.ts. That's where we will write all our routes. Okay. Now today we are planning, we are uh, going to implement the child route. So let's go ahead and implement that. Now for that, what I'll go, I'm going to create is I'm going to create a component. We'll need a new component. Let's call it on our home page, which we will do. Let's call it dashboard. All right. So we created a new component by the name dashboard. You can see here, and I'm going to add a route for it first. And I'm going to say path is dashboard component is dashboard component. All right, now let's fire up the application by typing ng serve. All right, our application is loaded. Let's go check it. And if I do slash dashboard I should see dashboard works which means the component is loaded it's getting displayed now let's create few more components and then we will assign them inside uh, the dashboard route okay that's what we are planning to do so what we'll do we'll create two more components let's call them I'll bring this up so that you can see what I'm doing all right, so NGGC, I'm going to call it overview and I'm going to generate one more component and call it settings. All right, so we got overview and settings. Now in this under the dashboard, I will write children and with an array bracket. And here, this is where we will add the child routes. Okay, now routes are exactly same like how we have been defining here, but now it's inside the children array. So here we'll say path. I'm going to say overview and this component will be mapped to overview component. I'll add one more path. We'll call it settings and we'll add a component and call it settings component. So now we have the child routes defined inside the dashboard. So now the path will be for this is dashboard slash overview and here the path will be dashboard slash 
settings that's the expected output so let's go ahead and do ng serve so you can set up any number of child routes inside it so now I got dashboard now I'm saying dot overview and then I'm going to say settings you're not seeing output do you notice that see again I have the route it's working but I don't see the output because of what we learned in the last two episodes I hope you remember it I hope you have gone through it because we will need a router outlet to tell that display the output right here it will give you error because this again requires us to import router module now it's all now you can see overview works is displayed if I go to settings settings is displayed along with the dashboard component see so that's so if you have dashboard slash overview both this is inside the parent inside the dashboard and if I do settings again I'm showing both because I have the router outlet right inside my dashboard and I've imported the router module because that is required for router outlet to work okay I hope it's clear take a look again when you want to have a hierarchical kind of a route setup like dashboard slash overview slash settings whatever that's where you would use this particular children property and it's an array basically of again the path you can also have dynamic paths here let's say settings slash ID you can have this also again that's up to us just like how we defined it here dynamic IDs same way you can define it here as well okay so that's the logic about child routes I hope it's clear I hope you will be able to implement it and it's not confusing at all I believe it's pretty straightforward it's simple all we do is wherever you want to display the output we will use the router outlet okay that was the child routes in the next episode I'm going to show you how to read the query params from the URL very very important because whenever you talk about reading data you can read the data from the URL as well especially when it's a get or a query or with question mark okay all right excellent so thank you so much for joining in this episode we will see you in the next one I hope you're enjoying this series I hope you're learning please do let me know if you have any doubts in the comments below continue to support me and my work please do buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much see you in the next episode